Hey everyone, Matt here from Herbal House. Today we have the Four Seasons Helios 640X here today. We're going to show you a bit about this panel and what makes it so great. Now obviously here we have this beautiful plain brown box which you can expect to receive when the courier delivers it, delivers it to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this up, I'm going to show you what's inside, put it together and show you why it's so good. Okay, cool. So now that we've got this beautiful box out of the plain brown box, you can see it is gorgeous. And we're going to show you all the components inside. Okie dokie. So what we've got here, we've still got packaging keeping everything nice and protected, especially while in transit. Uh, hidden in between these boxes here is the LED bars. And we have two that look the same, but they are not. Those are the end rails. So I'm just going to whip those out and get these on the table for you. Okay, so now that we've got everything laid out of the packaging, you will find when you open the box, everything is packaged absolutely beautifully and tight. There's no space for anything to wiggle around and get damaged. We absolutely love how they've done that. So now that we've got all the components laid out, we have the driver here, which is a 600 watt unit. There's a Sosin driver hiding in there. Bloody good drivers. We've got two end rails and your six LED bars. Now, of course, we do have the accessories, which are gonna power this thing up and connect between the driver. We have the RJ Ethernet cable, which is gonna allow you to daisy chain panels and soon connect to the master controller. And of course, we have some hanging ratchets, so you can hang it up, obviously, and uh, four little nuts, which are gonna hold the driver box on the back. And last but not least, we have some paperwork. Everyone loves paperwork and pretty pictures, so we've got that there to help you along if this video misses out anything you're looking for. Now, one thing to note, Beautiful 640X here on the side, and we have a plate Herbal House exclusive just for us and just for our New Zealand customers and Australians soon. So I'm going to put this thing together and show you how easy it falls into place. Okay, so that's the framework complete, which is essentially the hardest part of this entire operation. Now we're just going to fit the driver. So, with that out of the way, we have the panel here. We're going to run through some good parts about it. Okay, so here we have the beautiful 640X in full assembly. Absolute stunning panel, and again, just like the 800X and the 480X, we've got the separation between the LED bars, fantastic for airflow, and of course, light distribution, most importantly. This panel's overall size is really suitable from anywhere from a 1.2 tent to a 1.5 tent. Uh, if you do use it in a 1.2, it's gonna be pretty much perfect. You're gonna be getting edge-to-edge -edge coverage should you be looking to grow your plants right up the corners of your grow tent, or grow space for that matter. So, having a closer look at this panel, just removing one bar here, I'll just see if I can pop that out nicely. We have the fan favorite Samsung LM301B diodes. These have been such a good diode to us that we use them, or Four Seasons use them, sorry, across their range. The LM301B in 3000K and 5000K is an absolute match made in heaven. These come together when we tested with our Everfine, offered us about 3500K overall. Not to mention, we've got Osram 660s and 730s uh, scattered across there to basically bump up the Emerson effect and see better flowering results. Now, the way this is coated as well, you can expose these to moisture more so than other panels. They've got a gel coating right across the front. The gel coating is fantastic in case you ever need to even give them a clean. Now, mentioning also Four Seasons will be looking to offer different LED bars that can be interchangeable across the panels to change spectrums or suit different manners of growing. So, it's also really easy the way they've made these clips, snap together, snap apart, you can keep the panel running full power and disconnect bars if you ever needed to, but being such a versatile panel with the complete dimmer and stepped 25% increments, you can adjust the running height or the running voltage across the dimmer to suit any application you need. Last but not least, we have the powerhouse of the LED. Most important part for any LED is powering it and powering it efficient. In here we have a Sosin's driver tucked away. They have mounted this thermally to the aluminium case. The idea being that that is going to help the driver itself run cool. The aluminium case is now pretty much a heatsink for it. And depending where you have this mounted, it will be absorbing some heat from these bars and rejecting that as well, keeping it running that little bit cooler. Now, 
Obviously we have waterproof connections on the front, but we don't recommend necessarily spraying things with water of course, because there are some vents up here along the side. Those vents are going to be there to reject some heat from the case and help that run cooler, all part of the design. Now, touching on the waterproof cables, you do want to make sure that those are tight to keep them waterproof for high moisture environments. We do expect these to be used in greenhouses and very high humid conditions, no problem at all. Now, the dimmer here I will mention, 25% increments of course, but it does have a setting there called EXT, that stands for external control. When you set it there, it means that you can daisy chain multiple helios together and use a, we'd call it the master panel, and that's gonna be adjusting all the LEDs beyond it when daisy chained. Now, the other beautiful thing about this is the Four Seasons master controller. When you connect these to the master controller, it can offer full dimmer control in 5% increments, it can do sunrise and sunset, timer control for your light cycles, and it also offers control for two separate banks of lights. Not to mention thermal cutouts, relay integration for full commercial application. We look forward to testing that real soon. Okay, so to give you folks some real world scenarios here and actual numbers, we've set the uh, 640X here up in a 1.2 by 1.2 meter grow space. Now we've sort of set the height for about 40 centimeters from the base of the tent, simulating a canopy of course. The idea being that we basically got it for a perfect thousand U moles in the center using our Apogee and uh, micro cache instruments here so they connect to our phone. So we're gonna be dotting a, plotting, sorry, a par graph across the entire floor span and we'll have that up on the screen for you shortly. Okay, so there we have it. We've just carried out the PPFD map in a 1.2 meter by 1.2 meter grow space. Now we set this panel up at about 40 centimeters from the floor slash canopy. The idea being that that's all about a thousand U-mole average dead center. The dead center thousand U-mole is actually probably a bit much for a lot of growers. So what we found was when we averaged that number out, we got about 960 across the grow space. Bear in mind that is a lot of intensity for most people. You will still be in the realm of wanting to add a bit of CO2 to keep the plants happy but it just goes to show how powerful this panel is at 640 watts input. So it's just a touch more than what maybe some people are using on their digital ballast with HPS metal halide at 600 watts, but for the reward of that little bit of extra power and investment in a panel like this, it's gonna pay off tenfold in the long run with lower heat generated, more light output, and a much more desirable spectrum. So that concludes our video today for the 640X. If you have any questions, get in touch with us here at Herbal House, and thanks for watching.